looking at kind of an uh, overall shoot system of the Kakua grass and once again medium leaf texture uh, you will find uh, stolen type growth characteristics to the plant. So leaf renation on Kakua grass is a folded leaf renation so if we're taking a look at the uh, youngest leaf you want to see how that emerges and once again it is a folded leaf renation. Probably the other thing too about texture of uh, Kakua grass it tends to be more of a medium a leaf texture, at least of the sample that, that we're looking here at. Uh, down here is the sheath, and right here is the ligule. Uh, normally, this might be defined as kind of hairy and infused at the base. So, at the base, it takes on more of a membranous uh, characteristic, and then here, kind of shredded at the very tip of the ligule. Top. The other thing, um, to me, characteristic of the cacao grass is the presence of a lot of hair, uh, typically on the sheath and then you can see some of it going up on the leaf blade. It's characteristics of uh, stolen uh, growth with cacao grass. And I guess I've heard some people describe this as uh, Bermuda grass on uh, steroids, but once again, very, very aggressive type growth. I was at a golf course in the West Coast where they had cacao grass fairways and also roughs. And um, um, you know, when you mow it down to a fairway type height, it will make a very, very dense Turf grass stand. Carpet grass is one of the warm season grasses. It's really uh, not native to, to the Maryland area. It would have a difficult time surviving our, our winter period, but if we you know, go south uh, into the southeastern part of the United States, the thing about uh, just looking at carpet grass, some of the main things that hits me as I look at it is how um, compressed and also the leaf renation of carpet grass tends to be folded. So if I were to take a look at say this leaf and as it emerges I would see that it's folded and so when looking at carpet grass that would be the one thing that I think would be very important in the identification is, is its folded leaf renation. Um, probably another characteristic is the uh, when it goes into flower uh, the inflorescence and I'm going to bring up the inflorescence right here and I guess to me, what this reminds me of, of anything, is probably something like uh, a crabgrass seed head. But it can be three to four branched. Uh, you have a small spike lid attached to a very short pedestal and then onto the rachis. So when I look at carpet grass and I see it flower, the thing that kind of comes to my mind is something similar to, uh, to the crabgrass type seed head. Now the uh, plant tends to be more, at least this sample that we're looking at, tends to be more of a medium leaf texture and that would be the leaf width um, I'm looking at probably three or four millimeter leaf width so that would put it not totally coarse now in some of the keys you might see it being coarse texture I think that might you know, de be dependent upon the density of the turf grass stand and, and the texture that you see. The photograph here is a, kind of a close-up of our carpet grass looking at the legal it's described as um, hairy but fuse at the base so appears to be membranous and I think you can see that there. The other characteristics are the hair along the edges of the leaf blade for the carpet grass sample. Okay the sample that we're looking at here is centipede grass. In fact you can see the inflorescence or the flower uh, at the top of the plant. Um, some of the things just general characteristics about centipede grass looking at it is the um, it's got a folded leaf renation like carpet grass that Probably a little finer texture, but maybe in that you know, three millimeter leaf width where the um, par carpet grass sample is probably four. Uh, so once again, the textbooks, they, they talk about a medium leaf texture. What I wanted to show here for the centipede grass is just the to stolen type growth, basically root system or shoot system developing. But as you pull the sample, uh, one thing you should be, to me, very noticeable about the centipede grass is the presence of uh, stolons. The ligio centipede grass has been described as uh, membranous with short hairs at the top. Probably the other good characteristic is the amount of hair on the, on the uh, margins of the leaf blade.
The sample that I have here is St. Augustine grass, and once again, it's if you're down in the Florida area and you have a home lawn, more than likely you're going to see St. Augustine grass. It's uh, I consider it to be a coarse textured grass, it's a folded uh, leaf formation. The one thing that I find with the St. Augustine grass is that the sheath down here as it comes up, um, you know, once again it's very tight to where this new leaf has a difficult time emerging and um, very compressed, I guess, or flattened in this area uh, as the uh, leaves. So um, the more coarse leaf texture to me is characteristic of uh, the St. Augustine grass. Uh, the other thing is to look at the tip of the leaf blade, it tends to be a little more round. Uh, where some of the other ones were more pointed. Uh, this one, uh, if I look at the leaf tips here, uh, tends to be more, more rounded as opposed to, uh, say, centipede and carpet grass. Uh, and once again, very compressed down in the, in the sheath area here of this particular leaf, uh, very flattened uh, with regards to um, St. Augustine grass. When you see this outgrowing in a lawn area, you will notice a lot of stolen growth, uh, heavy stolen growth, particularly you know, when you walk on St. Augustine grass, it's, it's very noticeable. But uh, as a stolen, we're talking about above ground stem. And so I have a node here and a node here, and this would be what's called the inner node area uh, defined as a stem. And then wherever I have a node, I can either have new roots and a new shoot system develop at that particular point. So once again, to me, very characteristic of St. Augustine grass is the fact of just the stolen and, and very, very uh, aggressive uh, stolen type production characteristic and also very thick uh, stolens when you compare it to some of the others.